Welcome back to Wolf and Ties podcast. Today we're talking about I Saw the Devil. South Korea. Yeah, yeah, this movie's awesome. Actually, this is the first time I've seen it. Yeah, I love it too. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Fincher vibes, big time. Very, very Fincher like. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can see that. Seven and uh, like even the girl with the dragon tattoo and shit like that as well. Yeah, it's another yeah. good movie. Yeah, the fucking old boy is a motherfucker in this movie, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's probably gonna be like a iconic, like uh, like movie bad guy in Korea, I think. Yeah, he's pretty good in this one. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's good. He's good in old boy as well. But yeah, yeah it starts out with him pretty much killing the chick. I guess it's yeah. very like, like there's fucking every movie you can think of with this movie. <laughs> <laughs> South Science of the Lambs, and then you get oh, yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> yeah, a lot of inspirations. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty brutal at the beginning. Yeah. Pretty much sets up the whole movie. Yeah, I hate that the fucking girl on her own. Fucking yeah. trapped in her <laughs> truck, some rando dude. He's like, yo, I can help you. I'm like, yeah. oh, it's Cash, Cash, 911. Yo, there's a yeah. motherfucker inside. He's trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that guy's sketch. Uh, like, yo, we're in the middle of nowhere. You just pull up on it. Hey, how you doing? I'll help you out. Yeah, we're like, mace and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've fucking seen enough of these fucking type of movies to know this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good, though. I re- really did enjoy this movie. Yeah. It's, uh, like someone recommended this to me, like, a few years ago. Yeah. I didn't I'm... hear of it. Pretty sure I probably watched this once, like fucking. Well, it came out in 2010, August 12, 2010. So I probably watched are, it when it first came out. I'm telling you, that's so that. Are was, you stoned? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look stoned. <laughs> yeah, I just just woke up. It, so it helps with like when I'm feeling sick, and it helps yeah. with the symptoms, like the yeah, migraines and fucking. It helps you just forget. You're not dwelling on shit, you know. Yeah, that's that's why it's good playing like uh, tennis stone and basketball stone. Yeah. You just your muscle memory really takes over, and you're not you're not thinking about it as as much, especially with tennis, because it's a psychological game that that sport. Yeah. So if you're, you're overthinking a shot, you can, you can fuck it up. So when you're stoned, you're like, hey, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like hit it like perfectly. You know, <laughs> you're not thinking about it. Yeah. I always said that. You know, there's even basketball players in like the NBA that would like they practice all the time stoned. Yeah. Well, enjoy beforehand I? because, it's, like I was saying, you, it makes you more like that lay back, and you're not you're not overthinking a shot or something, which could really fuck you up. Yeah, that's true. Get the yips, like if I could uh, Ted Lasso, man. When they mentioned the yips and Ted Lasso in the second, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh man, I laughed. I laughed because the yips is real, man. That's real shit. <laughs> it is. It happens it to is. fucking sports figures all the time. Yeah. It really messes your head. Yeah, very, very Dexter like too, because he like ch- chops him up as well. Yeah, and just uh, says she's she's pregnant before he yeah. kills her, and he just gives her that look and just blank stare and just kills her anyway. It's so brutal. Killed like <laughs> Bruce Lee's fucking wife. <laughs> yeah. That guy's going on a vendetta. Vendetta. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, you man. killed the wrong guy's wife, that's for sure. Yeah, especially if he probably, I don't even know, he never said it or not, but if he knew that she was pregnant or not. Yeah. Like the end of seven with fucking the fetus or the fucking head in the thing. It's it's her head. I swear to God, it's her head. What? I thought it was the fetus. Yeah, I swear to God, it's a head. Yeah, I've heard many yeah, different interpretations. Yeah, of the end yeah, of that movie, said, I'm pretty sure it's her head. Yeah, he says her pretty little head. Yeah, that's what he does say. Yeah, I can't remember if I thought it was the fetus or the head. It reminded, it reminded you of seven in a lot of ways. Yeah, this is it the box? Finch yeah. month. Finch month. <laughs> Fincher month would be cool. There's enough to do with Fincher, like the oh, game. Yeah. You know, like Curious Case. And the game's Bobby. underrated. Yeah, the yeah. game's underrated. I like that movie. Yeah, fuck it. We, yeah, I, I wouldn't even mind watching the girl with the dragon tattoo again, just for the score, because he works well with uh, Atticus right. Ross and uh, Trent Reznor. Yeah. yeah, Social Network too. It's a good score to that. It's kind of a weird fuck score. Boy, going, just going around fucking chaos and fucking havoc. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, everywhere he goes, he's like, yo, fucking Dr. Heels ever tells him, you know, you're all right. Just leave me. He's like, yo, yeah. shit. You're pretty crazy. I'm, like, hey, I'm not your son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, give me your glasses. Give me them. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Pretty good. Fuck? Nice, I'll give old boy fucking a shout out. Yeah, he's a uh, he's really really good actor in this movie. <laughs> yeah, there's another fucking scene, there's another movie that remind me of Mystic River when the chief shows up. The, oh, like, yeah. in, like the chief of police. I mean, like his daughter's like head is in the fucking water there. Yeah. Yeah, fucking oh, decapitated head is never a pleasant sight. <laughs> no. So you imagine you being your daughter. Oh my god. Uh, re- re- reminiscent of the scene where they find her uh fucking Sean Penn's daughter. Spoiler. Yeah. The Mystic River. Which Ugh. very mir- mirror of East Town. The whole thing just reminded me of that. Oh, uh, did you watch the whole thing? Yeah. It was oh, good. Eh? There was a, that was like the second last episode that was nuts. Yeah. Where, we where, where they're fishing. Seeing the motherfuckers that are keeping these women. Yeah. Get them found off. Oh, like, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> then, then fucking, so, oh, I don't want to spoil it. The end yeah, of it. that was a good show. That was yeah. really good. Yeah, fucking Kate Winslet was, was fantastic, man. Yeah. Well, she, she has a, what is it, Arkansas accent? Is that where yeah, they're from? Yeah, she's saying it's like one yeah. of the toughest accents she's ever had to get down. She's yeah. done a lot of accents in her... In her Via a wide range of uh, movies that she's put oh out. Oh my god, yeah, she's done a lot of shit. Yeah, and like consistently, consistently good and stuff too. Like Meryl Streep, they're so so consistent. I don't like Meryl Streep's movies, but no, I, she's yeah. good in all of them. But yeah. they're boring as fuck. Except for Don't yeah, Look Up. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of movies. There's a scene where he, he's like investigating the guy and trying to figure out who he is. Gets in this one place, it made me think of that Ace Ventura scene. <laughs> the, the pickle is Einhorn. Einhorn is pickle. Oh, yeah. Then when the Ace goes to like the house, yeah, like there's the, the, uh, the pickles. Pickles like his room is like a shrine to. Like it's fucked. It's funny because yeah. Ace Ventura in the end is kind of a mystery movie as well. But the first one, yeah, the first one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because he's trying yeah. to figure out, figure shit out, and you know he's actually a pretty good de- de- detective in his own. Yeah, I saw Ace Ventura in theaters, man. I fucking loved it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it was just as like uh, fucking Jim Carrey star was on the rise big time. Because then I yeah, saw, that, I saw that was his first big well, one, right? I saw Liar Liar, Dumb and Dumber. I think so. Dumb and Dumber like twice. Ace Ventura is his first big one, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like he was in like uh, Earth Dumb Girls Dumber. Are Easy with Damon Wayans and Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum, yeah. He's and, in uh, Gina Davis. He's in uh, what? Once Bitten. Once Bitten. Peggy Sue got that. married. That she was in a lot before hand as well, yeah. but then it was like Ace Ventura really, and uh, fuck it, uh, in Living Color that really yeah. catapulted him as well. Yeah, that was a funny fucking show. Yeah, he's you know like the only white guy. <laughs> yeah, we need a goofy white guy for a black yeah. show. <laughs> that happens. You see, they they knew he'd be big, and kids liked uh, he's by Jim Carrey, so fucking he soared. Yeah, no, he yeah, owned he had the '90s meltdown. <laughs> over over everybody, he probably owe like owned the '90s. Probably the highest paid actor in the '90s. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, the, the, like uh, the early 2000s was when he started making some good shit, though. Yeah, me, myself, and Irene, and yeah, Turtle well, me, my, that was he worked well with that uh, the director combo, the Ferrelli brothers. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah he did that. That's who he did, uh, Dumb Dumber. They, were, yeah. they directed that as well. And it's hard to say which is better because I saw me, my, myself, so, somebody... in the theaters as well. Movie's a fucking blast, man. Yeah, man. It's, not, it's underrated, Jim Carrey. Movie. It's really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. I had a good time. I saw that, like I said, it's out in theaters at the Cineplex Odeon in the south end of Barry there. <laughs> I've never seen it. I remember it. Wrong Always answer. Like that. And the name's Hank Fuckface. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jim Carrey's going to play multiple roles in that movie. And that is a really good movie. Yeah, so they, they get like a start getting like a cat and mouse game where like he's like he pretty much figures out who he is. Yeah, you know, the uh, old boy. Mm-hmm. It's like the the fiance of the dude that or the chick that uh that was pregnant. Yeah, I guess that's the daughter of the chief of police as well. They got the yeah. on the head, which is fun. Oh, like, <laughs> you should have killed him right away. He fucking messes with him in there. So yeah. every time he messes with him, he ends up fucking killing somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Like just fucking kill the old boy here. He's a fucking prick. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, he learns his lesson by the end there. 
Yeah, um, had to. It's like you just, yeah. just it's like Batman and Joker, man. Like fucking you know, if you would have killed the Joker fucking years ago, we wouldn't have done all this shit. <laughs> and it's, it's like uh, under the red hood with yeah. uh fucking uh, the red hood or it is the red hood. Fucking Jason Dick Todd. Grayson, I think it is. Jason no, Todd, Dick Grayson's right? Nightwing, it's uh, the other kid. Jason Todd, isn't it? Jason Todd, and then he becomes the Red Hood. With a pretty cool like the movie's awesome, man. The animated yeah. movie, yeah. Under Red, yeah, Under the Red Hood's fucking excellent. Yeah, he's one of my favorite of the Bat Family, actually. Or uh, the animated movies, yeah, animated? like no yeah. other, but like it, when you like got you know the other Robin, you know, I like David oh, as yeah. well. And he's got Batgirl and fucking Bat Batwoman is getting a little bit more prevalent as well. Yeah, Ruby Rose actually quit it, quit the show because it was they don't realize how that like exhausting it is making a television show. You can watch documentaries oh, yeah. on, like they're making Star Trek, like the next generation of shit. They're all on set for like eighteen to twenty hours a day. <laughs> Fuck. For they get some time off, but you know, when you're shooting, you're shooting, you're going pretty hard for yeah. like two weeks. Like you have to kinda, you know, maintain that, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not, hard, it's not hard though, they're fucking actors. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like I saying, they shouldn't have fucked around with him. He just he, he's playing around with him big time. Yeah, the whole time. Yeah, he he, he to figures out that he, that he's got the tracker in him, and he fucking go through the diarrhea. It's gross, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He was smart though. And then he cut his Achilles tendon as well. Oh yeah, that scene was doing. brutal. That scene was brutal. Ooh, like, I, I, I couldn't away. watch him. Like, is that? Yeah. I, I think it was his Achilles tendon. <laughs> I didn't really watch either. <laughs> I was like, oh, I pretty rough, away. man. I was like, okay, you should have killed him a long time ago. But he, like, he, like, you killed my pregnant, like, ex-wife, I guess, or ex-girlfriend, yeah. probably ex-wife. I don't know. Yeah, because he didn't know his wife was pregnant until he said it to the guy. Yeah, and every time he finds this dude, he's doing something else. Like, it was yeah. the fucking nurse, he fucking, <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, he finds him like, hey, fuck yeah, you, no. you fucking <laughs> asshole. Keeps healing him up. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's like strip, strip. He's a hard motherfucker in this movie too. So like, he's, he's scared of him. Yeah, the scene where the he's hitchhiking, they grab him and he's stabbing people in the car. Yeah, it's a pretty neat scene. It's like yeah, it looks like a one shot. Like, very violent movie. Very hard yeah. to watch movie. It's like <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of stabbings and then there's a lot of like Beating. fucking heads getting bashed in. Yeah, the blood squirting out the back of the head. Out of the head bashed in thing. That is, yeah. <laughs> A lot of fucking brain trauma in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. It was yeah, good, though. No. I actually had a fun time watching it. I had a yeah, hard time at the end because it, it fucking came skipping. With this. It's nice to have a hard copy or something now. Yeah. You don't worry about internet problems or anything like that. I'm buffering. Yeah, that's when uh, the re revenge in this movie is not that sweet. Like it did, it doesn't seem like satisfying by the end. Yeah, you probably have more fun toying with them. <laughs> yeah, could, yeah, you should have. Toying with them. Didn't the, the chief dies though too as well? Yeah, that's all. He fault. gets away and he's like, "Oh shit, he's going after the fucking chief." And the chief dies. Yeah, and the bad guy, yeah, he figures all that out. He's like, "Oh, this was your wife." He's talking to him on the, she has a track or whatever. And then he shits out the tracker and he puts it in that yeah. guy's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so I gross. Like, I will say it was gross. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like what the fuck? 2010, though. That's crazy. It's not I think old, I did see this before. I'm pretty sure. It's either that or, I don't know. It's funny how you think you've seen something before. You just can't place where or when. Yeah. Like, I know I fucking see this movie at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but it's mostly because, like, uh, you know, fucking shooting the shit with people, smoking, you know, smoking weed. Yeah. Maybe I was only there for like 45 minutes and I was just sat there and watched the movie for like 45 minutes and didn't watch the whole thing and it took off. Yeah, it's possible. Possibility as well. Mm. Yeah, I really did enjoy this movie. Yeah, from like start to finish. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, like, it's like two hours and 20 minutes it doesn't feel like that long, though. No. Pacing's very good. Yeah. Well acted too, as well. Yeah, in the very end, that's uh, was his parents open the door and it drops a guillotine and chops his head yeah. off. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. And it head rolls to the foot of the parents that walk in. I was like, fuck. Yeah, he's it's pretty brutal. brutal. Like he was hanging out with the guy that was eating flesh too. Eating human oh, flesh. that's that's probably my favorite 
parts of the movie is when he goes to the mansion there. They have the little fight scene. Yeah. Fuck cannibals. Weird. <laughs> I was like, oh, the, fuck. The, the Texas Chainsaw shit really came into play. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah now we kind of got a Texas Chainsaw. He's like dragging the check. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> right. the movie's burnt already. And I was like, these cannibals are like, holy fuck. <laughs> a mad eating human flesh. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty mm. gross. <laughs> pretty gnarly. That guy gets his comeuppance. He gets his ass kicked pretty good by uh, fucking the one guy, the Bruce Lee yeah. looking motherfucker. What's he carrying? Like, like a harpoon? Is that what he's beating them with? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Remember one guy when he grabs the scythe. Oh, that was fucking old boy. He grabs the uh, scythe. Yeah. I'm like, uh, and you could, that was at that was at the like the greenhouse. Yeah. Where he, oh kind yeah. Of, he's there, like silhouette in the door there because he could hear it. He's like, oh, something's up. Yeah. He's like, because you're doing that, so anything that's out of the norm, you hear, you're like, oh, fuck, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like the the old boy for the 2010s. Yeah. It's like the old boy of the 2010s. Yeah. 2010 though. I remember 2010 like it was yesterday. Inception, uh, Toy Story 3. Maybe I saw the trailer when I was working at Blockbuster. There's a possibility. And well, just when I saw the trailer a lot. I, I didn't even hear of it till like I think it was well, like this would four be the years type of ago. thing that would be on one of those trailer reels. Yeah, uh, like block uh, when you have to hear the same trailer over and over again. Oh, oh like yeah, eight, I remember eight, that. Eight nine hours. <laughs> TVs everywhere playing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it could get a little tedious where you don't even want to watch a movie. There's uh, a couple movies like that where I just like I'm never gonna watch a movie now because of that trailer. <laughs> and fucking uh, the Zohan one. Adam Sandler. That was oh, fuck. I saw <laughs> like, the I theater. can't watch this movie now. That fucking trailer sucks. <laughs> I saw that in the theater. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not my thing. Just because I hear, <laughs> heard the trailer over and over again. <laughs> so, like, basically, Joker's that one guy. Yeah, that's the guy. Is the the Texas Chainsaw guy, I think. Yeah. He, like, rip, Stabs rips him. his jaw, basically. I think. It was oh, the- yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was a pretty <laughs> hardcore scene. I was like, oh, wow. Puts a screwdriver in his hand as well. And he's trying to get it off, and the handle comes off. He's like, ah! yeah. <laughs> he has to lift it. Yeah, that was pretty gross. And then they deserve it, though. 100%. Oh, fucking right. Fucking right. <laughs> no empathy for old boy or the other guy. No, <laughs> they, they, I guess they don't really want you to have any empathy for him. Uh, killer rapist and fucking. Yeah, animals. I was like, hey, you, fucking, you deserve everything you're getting. I have yeah. no empathy for you. Like, you deserve everything here. Yeah. He's badass. Yeah. yeah, he gets his gets his revenge. It was it was pretty good, the whole thing. Two movies in a row, or is the whole movies fueled by revenge? Yeah, it's and a very then, uh, very boy, Korean oh. theme. Yeah, a lot of Korean movies. Yeah, yeah. Fucking, we're moving on to uh, fucking Pan's Labyrinth. Actually, oh, do Pan's- like two in a row. Do Pan's Labyrinth and the Orphanage. I'm down. I got like a daily planner and we'll figure out next month as well. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen either of those in a, probably 10 years. Yeah, it's been a long time too. I remember enjoying the, them though. That was back yeah. in the Blockbuster days as well. The, the Orphanage I seen once, but it was like maybe six years ago. I've never even seen that one. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of nice watching this one too because it's one I've never seen. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes it's, it's nice. Yeah. When you see everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, most of, find most of everything. There's still so much shit. Even though I try to keep up with everything. But I like to keep my, my finger on the pulse of shit. Like, yeah, you, you start to hear like a, a, a rumbling about something. Yeah. Or somebody's performance. Yeah. I still got to watch that Power of the Dog. That's still getting some buzz as well. Power but, of the Dog. Yeah, with uh, that? Oh. Fucking, uh... Dr. Strange, I, Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, I, I watched it. And, you know, Chris and uh, just uh, get the, all their performances are getting pretty a lot of praise. So it's like thinking about yeah. it. I call it broke back so, sociopath. Yeah, I really, yeah. I really didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't. Uh... Yeah, I just haven't seen it though. No, I don't know. Yeah, I give this a fucking uh, nine point four out of ten though. Yeah, it's, it's good. I, I gave it a nine point five. Great score, great cinematography. I yeah. used a lot of. I was did uh, getting all the shit together for the edit, edit, and I was looking up for music for this movie, and it's got a pretty good uh, score. Yeah, yeah, it's a 
Korean masterpiece for sure. Yeah. Modern masterpiece. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is a, it's in that genre definitely of like seven and uh uh the girl dragon tattoo and all that like I was saying. And like many, many others, Texas Chainsaw. Yeah, there's another Texas Chainsaw coming out too as well. Yeah, that's right. A Netflix movie, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll probably watch it <laughs> if if it's on like a. I wouldn't pay to see it at the theater, but I'll watch it if it's streaming. Yeah. I, I gotta watch all of them. Anything Nightmare on Elm Street, Jason, Chucky. Yeah, Texas. fucking Scream. Scream. Is yeah, fucking... man, it's got good reviews. I just hate that it's called Scream. I hate it. I hate it. What? Call like, Scream Five. Don't fucking just call it Scream. It's like there's already a Scream. Yeah, but Probably isn't it called Scream fucking twenty twenty two? Yeah, but the S is a five, isn't it? No, I think it's just Scream. In the poster. I'm pretty sure oh. everyone I've seen for the posters and everything. It's oh, just called the Scream. They just have a, d- d- did that with Halloween three times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you put like a Rob Zombie, it's just you say Rob Zombie's Halloween, and then yeah. Halloween uh, twenty eighteen. Yeah, but when you put like a number beside a movie, it looks so unappealing. Like, oh, Scream Six. You'd be oh, like, oh, you could put Scream Five. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's Scream Four, so you might as well put Scream Five. Yeah. If, <laughs> if it's a cheesy, like straight to DVD movie, yeah, but like if but then if, when, is like, it like Scream Scream Two Point One after it, Scream after Scream? Yeah, no, no numbers beside it. It's just it's way too unappealing. Just put put a preface it with like I guess scream the next generation or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah. that like, that's just like that it couldn't be any more cliche to call it something the next generation or resurrections. <laughs> oh fuck! That's probably the worst movie of the fucking year. Yeah, I really didn't like that like, Matrix yeah. movie. There's something going on with Keanu in that movie. Yeah, he's, he's doing like, John he Wick. Like, at the actually, busted a good fight scene. It was weird. Yeah. He's doing John Wick at the same time. He's probably like injured. He's yeah, probably like, bouncing like, between studios. I think this is like you can't you can't use him for too many fight scenes if you ain't <laughs> yeah. you know, Oh, it's a lot of money. It's like okay, we'll just make him do a force push every fucking <coughs> 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 fucking annoying head cold. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I mean, is it when you laugh, you cough, and like man, pain in the ass? <laughs> Would you give this? Uh, nine. Well, I wrote it down. Nine point five. Yeah, 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 you gave a little bit better. Yeah, it's the yeah. second time I've seen it though, so yeah, maybe the second time you watch it. Mouse game, good detective type movie. Yeah, no, it's great. I like that it's like so. Some of it's hard to watch, but it's really worth it. Yeah, you just want like, to get caught. The kid yeah. such a prick, old boy. Yeah, old boy like, and fucking. And that Texas Chainsaw look. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a great. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you see all the parts in the freezer. It was like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> How long yeah, have you been doing that? You got the other girl there. She's like fresh, fresh meat. Literally. Yeah. So I guess they broke into the house, right? Because he was talking where he's like, oh, you should have just let us in like nice people. Oh, I don't know. But yeah. when he had had the prisoner, because I thought those cannibals owned the house when I first watched it, but they they invaded the house and those two sisters owned the house. The girls oh, was okay. So it wasn't their house? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I thought it's it was a really head. nice house. And when that's so sick. And how the fuck do they afford this? <laughs> yeah, that's what doing? I was thinking. I was yeah. like, how'd you fucking pull this off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so they're just, yeah. The happiest serial killer actually. in the world. <laughs> Like, who's got the money in this relationship? Is it fucking family money? Those are the fucking ones you got to watch out for, man. The people that were, were born with fucking millions of dollars. Oh, yeah. And then they lose everything, too, though. And then, then they're, like, four years old. They don't know how to function in society because they have <laughs> spoon fed the entire time. Yep. That's all good. Yeah, so it did double the, the box office with 12 million. So, like, there was, was a pretty good word about this movie. That's why I think I did see it. I'm pretty yeah. sure I saw this movie, man. But it's just funny that Korean you can't really remember it at the same time. It's like, it almost feels like a dream or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's seen something once, like, years ago. Yeah. Like a decade a dream ago. Within a dream. Within a dream. Yeah. 
Yeah, fucking South Park February 2nd, too, as well. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> new, new fucking season. I am so yeah. stoked. I'm just watching Maybe the pandemic watch. special the other day. So, is, is this the first time it's going to get released on that Paramount Plus, whatever the fuck? Probably. Yeah, because they would sign yeah. like a massive, massive contract with them. Yeah, because I know HBO Max owns it right now in Crave. And they're on season like 25 or something cra- crazy like that. Jesus. I, I think we're going. They're going to season thirty. But now the Simpsons has done it, so it's like Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. Yeah. You ever seen that episode of South Park? Yeah. The Sim- Simpsons, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like Bart's actually in the episode. Mm-hmm. That's with uh, fucking uh, uh, Butters, and he's dressed as Professor Chaos. I think it is. Yeah, I think Butters might be my favorite South Park character. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could be. Oh, there's a lot of good South Park characters, but Butters is a pretty good one. Yeah. I want to go to build a bear. Yeah. <laughs> it's out of nowhere sometimes. It was like, yeah, Butters is funny. It's like, uh, fucking, who does his voice? Uh, is, it, is it Trey Parker or Matt Stone does his voice? I'm, I think they do a good the voice good, like, Probably 90% of the voice acting for, for yeah. South Park. It's hysterical. Just the two of them. That's why it's easy yeah. enough to do. Yeah. You got probably got like three or four other people doing other voices, the side yeah. voices and stuff. Like weird this is voices. like that too, where there's like you know there's like four of them that's doing like the entire mo- the entire show. Yeah, because the girl who does Bart, she does Maggie, uh, the fucking teacher. I forget her name. Who's the teacher in in The Simpsons? Uh, the girl. Well, there was Mrs. Krabappel, but she died. Yeah, the chick that uh, they played Mrs. Krabappel, so she's done. And the and the, the the Troy McClure and uh, fucking. Uh, it's Phil Hartman, and he died too. Oh, as well, so they Hartman, just, yeah. they, they, if somebody dies, that they just retire the character. Mm-hmm. Hank Zary had to retire a poo, though. And they had to, yeah, they got canceled on that stuff. one. Yeah. yeah, well, same with uh, the guy who does Cleveland, and he Cleveland, leave because, yeah, because yeah, uh, like the different race can't do different races' voices and shows or whatever. It's almost like, like you're stealing work from like another race, you know. Yeah. It almost kind of kind of feels that way, so it's like maybe we should. Yeah. Uh, though the race issue is a fucking difficult one, though. Yeah. It's like you almost you gotta, gotta throw your hands up. There's like the Asian Asian Americans and like Asian Canadians are fighting for everything as well. Yeah. They want the right recognition, so like they they're starting to get a lot more, as well. Yeah. Okay. Like, then we got the Koreans and making fantastic movies like this. Yeah, for sure. There's one called Farewell with Aquafina that was probably pretty good too as well. Farewell. Yeah, I think it was called Farewell. I like Aquafina. It was up I for really a bunch was... of bunch of Academy Awards. Is it? Yeah, like a couple years ago. The Farewell. Uh, true. Uh, didn't she win at the Golden Globes or something? I think yeah, she I don't won know. Something. I remember something like that. It was like it was like highly touted. It was like two years ago. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, never saw Minari either. I was still thinking about seeing that. Yeah, I still watched. Um, I was gonna watch something. I fucking forget. Oh, Wild Things. That's what I need to watch. Yeah, Wild Things. <laughs> still haven't watched it. Yeah, I, I fucking love the '90s. <laughs> Even like a shitty '90s movie is good to me. <laughs> yeah, I had a fun time watching this movie. Yeah, we're, we're gonna move on to uh, Guillermo, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna do Pan's Labyrinth and the Orphanage, probably back to backs. In a couple yeah, of days from now, I haven't seen those in a while. I got a planner and figure out a couple of things with uh, the next month as well. So it comes so yep. fast, fucking t- time goes by way too fast. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. They get sick for a week. It's like shit. I'm fucking fall behind on doing this shit. Yeah. This one was a bad one though. Fucking, uh, I'm glad to get it over with though. <laughs> so it's kind of like I was saying, it's the antibodies. You got to fight through it. It's yeah. nice getting the vaccinations, but like when you. Some people are not having a good time though. No. Good, like they know people with their bad lungs. Yeah. They're on ventilators right now, big time. This is rough. So you feel bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I get if I what I what I had, but I it was a fever and then fuck two days or eight. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Have I all? Uh, two days straight. I'm in, in bed. On and off, I get up and try to function a little bit because my back is killing me, man. 
I'm like, I can't lie down anymore. I must get up. <laughs> Back is killing me. I have to go sit up for a little bit. We're able to blow my back out. Back spasms are the worst, man. Oh, uh, fuck that. I've had those a couple times. You just sit up. Uh, you say, oh, fuck. You're done for like you get five days. <laughs> this one just feels like a cold right now. So it's all right. I'll take a cold. I have nothing wrong with that. Dealt with many, many colds, but then just the fever shit sucks. Yeah. You're tired. <laughs> So that's why we've only done like four and it's like the 15th or the 14th bro this is foreign film four though yeah we did fucking old boy and city of god and parasite and then this one and then we're gonna do uh, get our get our more get our more well guys that was eyes of the devil from august 12th 2010 fucking 12 years ago which is nuts uh i'm just recording a quick outro just to say goodbye to all you motherfuckers and i hope you coming out next time uh this fucking this was a fun one having a fun month uh, next to getting sick but uh, which is always fun but yeah uh unfortunately the wolf couldn't be here for the outro but he uh sends his regards to everybody <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is uh, this is Ty the Blockbuster guy. Check out the socials. We have I have a group that I created for myself, and then both the Wolf and Ty podcast we have there as well. And we also have uh, wherever you find your uh, podcast, pretty much we're working on getting them everywhere. <laughs> Check out on Spotify though. And then give us a uh, you know a like, subscribe, blah blah blah. Yakety smackety, smash that like button. Peace out, motherfuckers. <laughs>